My question comes from the movie Contact, one of my favorites. The problem I'm trying to figure out is the ending when Jodie Foster's character travels in the spaceship and has her experience, but for Earth viewers, the ship instantly falls through like nothing happened, and then it is later revealed that her camera recorded 18 hours of static. Now, from what I understand about relativity, it should have been opposite. On Earth, 18 hours would have, would have passed, but her camera would have recorded seconds of static. Please help me put my mind at rest on this query once and for all. Did the movie get that part wrong, or am I missing something? Ooh, Thank you. Dan. This person knows yeah. just enough relativity to just get angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just to remind people in the film, yeah, uh, Jodie Foster's character visits aliens in another part of the galaxy and does so in an odd sort of rotating mm -hmm. uh, spaceship that never leaves Earth. And they see her take just seconds, and in that time, in those few seconds. She goes on this journey. Mm -hmm. And I think the point here is that the fabric of space and time yeah. is such that you can warp either space or time or both. And so you can basically travel through a wormhole, get to some destination instantly, mm -hmm. all right? And if you travel fast, that, that you're the, the question, oh, who is it? Who is it that asked Danny. you? Danny. Danny. It's from where? Uh... I don't know, but uh, his name is definitely Danny. Okay. He didn't include it. <laughs> so normally, if you're the one, that, if you're the one that goes away, you live for a shorter amount of time than Earth that you've left behind. So Danny is perfectly correct about yeah. that. But these are aliens who gave us instructions how to build a spaceship to do exactly what just happened. So I'm not worried about that relative time dilation. So Danny's right that it would logically work that way unless aliens gave him a plan that he stuck to that worked differently? Exactly, which is what happened in the film. Right. You could also imagine that she was not the one who left, that it was Earth that left that location and then returned. I mean, and then Earth is the one that that lives for the only the few moments and he's the one that lives longer. You right. can imagine aliens controlling space and time in such a way that that's what happens. So so in the movie they could have moved the whole planet with That would be without, hard. It would be it would be no hard. I'm saying it's easy. No, I am not saying that this is easy. I'm saying that it's no. within possibility Sorry, of what, science fiction. What I mean is that it would be hard not only to physically move the planet, but Earth has to be the one that accelerates away and then mm -hmm. accel slows down, stops, and comes back. We would all feel that. You would feel that? <laughs> yes. If we went through a wormhole, we would feel it. No, if we slow down, if we sped up and uh -huh. slow down and stopped, yeah. we would just fall over and roll roll off the planet because we're not attached to the Earth. So Not even a little? No, not at all. Not even with <laughs> not even gravity? <laughs> so we would all fly away. If, someone, yeah. if you could stop the Earth... If, if you just... Stop the Earth from yeah. its movement in space, or yeah. did adjusted it in some way. Yeah, Earth would stop, but we were moving with the Earth in orbit around. So the we sun. would just fly very quickly, and as you would fly through a dashboard in a car that hits a brick wall, and you're not wearing a seatbelt. That I really can't believe that like people who do like jump from outer space or bungee jump or any of that haven't tried to stop Earth to just go flying. That would be a to feel fun it. experiment. To, to, Let's try. Yeah, it. so I'm not worried about that. But strictly speaking, if she was the one that went away, Danny's yeah. correct. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Danny, good job.